the Latouche Cup is next in. Now, this is a long distance one, isn't it? Four and a quarter miles. Instead of Punchestown, sounds like we're going to be in France, really, doesn't it? But we're not. That's next week. And largely for the national at the top for Joshua Sutherland fell in the national last week. De Bancherman for Alex Cherry. Bridgewell leader John Morgan. Hume Cassie for David Robertson. Eyes of the World, the Grand National winner last week, Leon Van Rensburg. Ingerberg, Darren Thompson. Sunday Mock, Thomas Rogers. Magic of Life, John Morgan. Westwire Rush, Martin Leader, and Southern Spectrum for Alex Cherry. What a small field for this, but there's a lot of long distance races this week. And away they go. We've got two Grand Nationals and a Whitbread Gold Cup to get in as well. Plus, I think there's another one as well. But Sunday Mott and Bridgewell Leader. The early leaders as they make their way towards the first of 22 fences in this. And the first one is a ditch. And let's hope they all jump as well as that all the way around. Or we won't have many left at the end because 22 fences and just 10 runners. And the way some of them were falling earlier on today. We'll be struggling later on, but Bridgewell leader is the leader. And the rest of them are in a really tightly knit group with the hero from entry last week, Eyes of the World, just the back marker. Difficult to split the rest of them. And to be honest, on a four and a quarter mile race, I'm not going to try at this point. I'm going to tell you that Bridgewell leader is in the lead. The rest of them are challenging for second, and Eyes of the World is the back marker as they get over the second. And they're all safely over that one. One more race to go today after this one. I think the uh, voice is going to last. It's been a bit shaky today, so apologies for that. A bit of a cold or something, but I can still taste this half decent glass of wine I've got, so I can't um, have the dreaded lurgy. And Bridgewell Lean is the leader from Westwire Rush in second. Again, Magic of Life is next, then you and Cassie are largely for the Nationals, they get two to third. And they're all safe over that one. As you'd expect, these seasoned chasers. And Bridgewell leader, one of John Morgan's front runners. Magic of Life is just about second as well, so obviously breeds that trait into them as they get to the fourth. And one or two mistakes there, including. Magic of Life and the back marker Inga Bird. And I was just about to say that the one thing that John Morgan seems to have got into his horse is this in SO7 that he didn't really have in SO6 was the ability to fall over. And if he can get that out, then I'm sure he would be back up amongst the winners. I'm still reeling from the fact that I don't think he had a Cheltenham winner this season. Anyway, back to the race. They've negotiated five so far. This is the sixth. And I'm jumping carefully, I would suggest, at the moment. Bridgewell leader in front, Magic of Life second, Westwire Rush third, Hume Cassie fourth, and then largely for the National and Sunday Mott and Southern Spectrum and Eyes of the World and Debancher Man and finally Inga Bird. Probably quite a few of these qualify for the Moors Millions finals next week. But Bridgewell leader is the leader. From Stablemate Magic of Life second, Hume Cassie on the inside third. Then largely for the National and West Wire Rush as they get over the next. And a mistake this time was by Southern Spectrum. The Bridgewell leader continues to lead. Largely for the National moving up nicely on the outside. And then Magic of Life and West Wire Rush. Oh, and he's gone this time, Magic of Life. He made a couple of mistakes. The jockey looked like he was going to hold on. But he eventually exited the side door, the horse hit it hard and the jockey did his best to stay in the plate but couldn't do so. And he's the first one to depart. And John Morgan's magic of life then out of the race but his Bridgewell leader is continuing to show the way. And they've got a long way to go yet, still got two and a half miles to race. And largely for the National. On the outside is second, and Sunday Mott in the green jacket is close up third. Westwire Rush in the purple is fourth as they get to the tenth. And over that one they go, and good jump on the outside by the Bansher Man. That one really runs a bad race. Eyes of the World is creeping a little bit closer. Ian Cassie is sat there quietly as well. The two at the back are Inga Bird and Southern Spectrum, but there's plenty of time for them to get 
closer yet as they get over that ditch and they're all safely over that one with the nine remaining runners with Bridgewell leader in the lead by about three or four lengths to Debancher Man who's second and Westwire Rush is third. Sunday Mott is fourth and then Lord for the National is fifth and then Hume Cassie and then Eyes of the World and then a gap of a couple of lengths to the back two Ingerberg and Southern Spectrum who race together. Coming down towards the next fence then and the final two miles of the race with Bridgewell leader having led all the way so far this is the 12th and all oh, mistakes are plenty there and it was Debancher Man and Hume Cassie that made the worst ones right in the glare of the stand as well so Bridgewell leader will race up past this winning post then with one more circuit to go and a lead of about five to Sunday Mott is in second and then Westwire Rush is third to Banshee Man recall from that mistake is fourth largely for the National running quietly on the outside is fifth and tucked in behind him eyes of the world Hugh Cassie recovered from that mistake is next and then Inga Bird and Southern Spectrum as they get over number 13 with Bridgewell leader still in the lead travelling well jumping well Sunday Mott and Westmore Russia are both doing the same. Come down to the 14th. Uh, all nicely over that one as well. They're definitely beginning to bunch up behind this leader then now. And Inga Bird and Southern Spectrum are with the rest of them. Now as they come down towards number 15. And over number 15 they go. Oh, mistake at the back by Inga Bird. Just as it was getting going. Uh, Bridgewell leader is still four clear of Sunday Mott. The Banshee Man's now moved back up on the outside into third. And then Westwire Rush as they take this ditch. And then Hume Cassie getting closer. Eyes of the World and largely for the National are next. And then Southern Spectrum and finally Inga Bird. The Bridgewell leader in front. About three lengths. To Sunday Mott, you Cassie has come right through and the outside they're travelling really well as they get over the 17th. And over that one they go. And Bridgewell leader, Westwide Rush is now coming through to challenge with Hume Cassie, then Sunday Mott, and then Debancher Man. You get a feeling that eyes of the world are larger than national. They're going to save their runs for a little bit later. Inga Bird's trying to run on Southern Spectrum. Is now the one getting a bit detached. They take the 18th and suddenly Bridgewell Leader finds a new gear and opens up again. He's now back three or four clear of Hume Cassie in second. West Warrush is third. Then comes Debancher Man in fourth. Sunday Mott in fifth. This is the 19th and that's where the leader makes his first mistake. Bridgewell Leader hit that one hard but he's still two lengths clear. They've still got three more fences to take. Hume Cassie is second, Westmore Rush is third, Sunday Mott being driven up the inside, look at this now around the outside, here comes Eyes of the World bursting through now and suddenly has gone from about seventh to second in the space of a few strides. And Bridgewell leader is about to be collared by Eyes of the World. Sunday Mock then comes Hume Cassie and then lastly for the National trying to run on. It's all changed now as they come towards this third last and over that. A good jump by Bridgewell leader got him back up on the inside of Eyes of the World. Sunday Mock running a big race back in third. These three are clear of the remainder as they come down towards the second last fence now and Eyes of the World is in the lead from Bridgewell leader in second. At the second last and over it they go. Eyes of the World landed in the lead. Bridgewell leader probably jumped in just the better again though but it's Eyes of the world on the outside one more fence to take eyes of the world from long time leader bridgewell leader in second gap back to sunday mott in third hume cassie trying to run on in fourth but it's surely between these front two then now eyes of the world and bridgewell leader and last week's grand national winner looking like he's only going to jump the last to take it bridgewell leader in second might be wondering what he's going to give him weight when they're racing now down towards this final fence it's eyes of the world in the lead bridgewell leader switches to the outside in second they come to it now over it they go Eyes of the World lands in front, Bridgewell leader in second, Sunday Mott back in third, Hume Cassie back in fourth. They're racing inside the final four, and that's the order they're going to finish in because it's Eyes of the World in front, and no way Bridgewell leader is going to close the gap. And up towards the line, it's going to be Eyes of the World that takes his big win two weeks on the trot. Bridgewell leader second, Sunday Mott 
He's got a hang on to be third from Hugh Cassie's fourth, and Inga Bird, the Bancher Man, largely for the National, never got going today. Big gap back to Southern Spectrum and following even bigger gap back to Westmore, where she was last. And Eyes of the World takes it pretty comfortably. In truth, Bridgewell leader unlucky, but Eyes of the World for Leon van Rensburg takes it off 10 stone 3 a Grand National winner. Bridgewell leader for John Morgan was second. Sunday Mott for Thomas Rogers was third. And fourth was Hugh Cassie for David Robertson with Inga Bird for Darren Thompson finishing fifth.